Hi guys and welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a quick comparison between a couple of floor attachments. Um, you have seen my other video but I haven't done one and I'm going to be using the zip brush as well uh, against a deep cleaning portable. So what we've got, um, I've got a zip brush, so I'm going to be using the zip brush and I'll show you the differences with that. Um, this is for people that have had a demonstration, haven't appreciated the Kirby, um, have bought it but not too sure. I'll just show the difference with the, the speed of this thing dirt meter attached that Kirby use and then the speed that you get when you actually put I've got a bag in and you'll see that it's totally different so I mean if it sucks up that amount of dirt with just a dirt meter and then it's like twice the amount of speed with the bag so you're getting a lot more suction so you'll see the total difference um, that, it, that it's doing so you know that your Kirby is sucking up way more dirt than any other vacuum or plastic vacuum could actually do also, the floor attachments we're going to be using are this one, okay, and this one, okay. So this one attaches straight to the base of your Kirby. You don't have the bush roller on when you're using it. Um, the other one I showed you obviously just goes straight on the hose. So you've got to have a hose on there to connect it. I mainly use this one um, to start. Well, I use the this one, sorry, first to start with. And then I will go around with the hose after when I'm vacuuming my skirting boards and go around with this as well. I find this quite easy um, to use, quite simple. Um, we've got bamboo floor, so most of, the, most of the house is bamboo, the rest is carpet. But yeah, I'll show you the difference. We've got a longer German Shepherd. She's molting like it's going out of fashion. So then I will show you, her, I will vac her dog beard off half of it with a zip brush and then the other half with a deep cleaning portable. So you can see the difference um, in what the aspects of those are. So first up, what we're going to do is we're going to attach the floor attachment to the Kirby. So we're going to wind the belt off, okay, and it just literally clips on. All right, then I will zoom in and I will show you. There's dog hairs all over the floor. You'll have to excuse it, it, excuse the blood because she's in season at the moment. Look, we've got bamboo floor, so I have to vac it and mop it every single day anyway. So she's molting and. I've got that to contend with. Um, so, oops, don't need to wind the brush roll on. So, brush roll's off, base is on, slot on the curvy. Okay, and then I'll show you it in action. Right, guys, here we are. We've got the curvy going. Well, not started yet. Obviously, I'll put that down. Um, I don't know if you can see the hairs, whether it'll pick it up on camera. I think it can. It's a bit hard with the bamboo floor, so I'll zoom over here as well. You can see all the hairs. And obviously the wall carpet, wall mat, is actually covered in them as well. So I will do the video with those coming up as well. So here's the, the actual one that goes in your Kirby. So what you do, is you start it up, it's a bit hard one-handed. But I've got no way of fixing this and no help to actually do it. So you leave it in neutral because you're on bamboo floor. Lower the head down as far as it go, that's it. So there and then we'll start her up. So as you can see, that was just a quick test with the floor attachment. So what I'll do now is I will take that off and then I will put the hose on just to show you the difference between that. Okay. All right guys, so I've run out, I've got a few hairs on here but not enough. So I've called in a bit of help. Kira, come here. And we're gonna just get those hairs on the floor. As you can see, I'm going to do it as well. She molts, but there's no tomorrow. 
Wow, that's a lot of hairs. Okay, which you can see, you will see in a second. Okay. Okay, I'll just put her out because she likes to be that. So as you can see guys, we've got loads of hairs and this is what I have to suffer every day over my carpet, even when she's brushed. So what we're gonna do for this part, is just gonna attach the hose. So take it off, as you can see, we've vacked and it's got Bit of hair there but it sucks most of it up it just comes off so you can see a few hairs there but obviously once you put your brush roller on it's going to vacuum up anyway but this works a really good attachment it's well worth the investment right so now I'll get the hose get the hose on Maybe floor attachment and then these floor attachments actually spin down so you can get them and we've got a lot of we've got a sideboard and that, that we get under so you can go right down to the ground and actually get under so we'll see how well this copes with all this hair okay. well, the only thing i find is you do have to vac this off as you go so you'll see that as we go so let me call it loud again so here we go around so I'm saying it's a bit hard one-handed but you can actually see how well it actually works <laughs> Okay, so I mean that's a floor attachment. Um, obviously it wouldn't clog up that much um, because obviously there's not that amount of hairs actually coming over the floor. Obviously I just went ballistic when I rubbed the dog just to get that, a lot of hairs on the floor because I've, I've got most of them up with the other attachment. But you can see, I mean with that attachment, it's quite easy to use. As long as you just back them off every couple of minutes, just lift it off. Um, all I do is separate that bit from the actual thing, that way then you've got the rest of the wand to hold it and lift it up and just back out those wheels so they don't clog up. Um, that's the main issue people have with them. But I find that a really good attachment and I find the other bit that actually slots on the head a really good attachment. So next up, what we'll do is we'll go for the zip brush and then we'll go for the deep cleaning portable as well. And you can see the comparison on those. Um, I'll do that on the dog bed and then obviously I'll use the deep cleaning portable on the dog bed. Um, and then we'll, we'll just back the wall carpet so you can just see the total difference, okay? So guys, this is the zip brush. So I don't know if you can see these hairs. Um, got the camera, I can't, I can't really see them. I might, might look better on the video footage when I play it back. There's all hairs here, so quickly with the zip brush.
Okay, and then just back his it brush out like that when you've finished using it. Obviously I'm just doing this quick for a demonstration. Um, but I don't know if you guys can see the actual difference. I mean that works quite well. That was just a quick brisk go over. So you can imagine what that'll do on, on your furniture. I mean I have to vac the furniture every day with that. So next we're going to use the deep clean portable. So let's just move this camera over. So you can see the vacuum. Kirby, shall say. Home cleaning system. So all we're going to do is take the hose off, like right, so. Put the head on. Can you see that? Put the head on. Okay, whoops. Wind the belt on, that actually helps. So, make sure the belt's in the right position, it moved. Okay, so then cut the belt, wind her on. Right. Move your cable. Drop your bag. Take that out. Helps if you want the belt back on. So we do it green to green. And just grab the handle. So what I'll do, I'll find it easier. To slot the handle in first, like so, and then push it in the curb. Okay. So we'll just zoom back over here. I mean, there's a few hairs on there. This is going to be quite loud as well with the vibration. What I'll do is I'll leave the tech drive off because I'm holding it at the back. Wind it down, like so. And that's just a quick once over with the deep cleaning portable. So as you can see, it's pretty clean. That's the size I whizzed over with the zip brush. We've got a few hairs, but that's just because I went really fast to do that. Okay. Right guys, so we've got it back into the upright position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly show you the difference. Um, obviously with the bag attached, so I'll take the head off now. So you can see that you have made a really good investment. And obviously I'm not sponsored by Kirby, I'm just showing you the facts um, as the way I see it. So we'll grab the zip brush and what we'll do actually is I'll take the bag off and I'll put the dirt meter on. Okay, so you can see this on camera. It's just a dirt meter, bag's not attached. Okay, I'm not gonna suck anything up because I don't wanna waste my pad. So this is with the dirt meter on. Okay, so that's what you're getting when they're doing a dem for you, okay? Now, you have to compare these yourself. So you can want a video back, but you can hear the speed difference now. Wait for this. All right, so as you can see, with the bag attached, you're getting, I'd say at least 50%, maybe more suction power going to, through that vacuum. So imagine what, what depth this is actually sucking to when, you, when you're doing your mattress. That's what I mean, if it gets that amount of dirt, um, skin out your mattress with just a dirt meter, then imagine what it's doing with the bag. You know, it's a fanta they're fantastic machines and they'll last you forever and a day. Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, this is the, probably be the end of the video now. Um, what I'm just quickly showing you is the wall carpet. Um, I don't know if you can see those hairs, but yeah, there you go. So they are literally covered in them. Um, now, I, I could say for definite, um, I worked, lived at my friend's house and they had a Dyson and they had two German Shepherds. In the end we brought our Kirby up um, 
to vac their house because the, the hairs were just horrendous. So again, the Kirby vacuum, I'd say, is the only one that can actually get all these dog hairs and agitate them up to suck them up. So what we'll do, let's start here. Let's actually see, so we start her up. So guys, welcome back. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. I'm gonna get back to, to doing my, my finishing my housework with two hands and opposed to one and one on a camera. But yeah, share the video, like and subscribe, and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.